Come here, you dummy. I'm right behind you. There. You see me now? Okay, you just keep hitting that, even though you've already seen me, and I've put an entire clip of 762s in your ass. You just stay there and keep hitting the wall, and I'm going to wait here patiently behind you until you decide to turn around and try and eat my brains. What a dumbass. Let's get these back on for maximum health. Somebody's going to come be coming over this way. It's a nurse Nancy. Okay, come on, Nance. Let's see if we can bleed her out. Slice and dice. Okay. Continue on here. We got another dude to pull here. Let's see if we can sniper him. Is that an outside zombie? Well, that's one way to do it. Okay, I think we've cleared the courtyard. So let's do this. Let's go back over here. And I want to go into these bathrooms and then we'll go up to the nurse's office. I think we've probably already pulled everybody out of here. I hate these doors with the corner behind them because you can't really see there's anybody there, right? All right, this bathroom's clear. Trying to see if there's any any loots up at the top there. I'm pretty sure we've gotten the attention of everything that would be in these bathrooms. Here, we'll check this, because it's medical. Um, nah, I'm taking that. We've got uh, those on the bike. Pretty sure anything that was in here would have alerted, been alerted by now, but let's just open them anyways. Okay, so we're good down below. Let's go up to the nurse's office now. Okay, we got a bunch of new red dots here. What I want to do is see how are they going to get out of there and come after us. Is there a door? Yeah, there's a door over there, so that's where they would come from. Okay, let's go back to th to this side. These guys' door must, I don't know, be on the other end of the building or something, maybe? Whoops. Okay, well, let's try something here. This might not go so well, but we're going to try it anyway. We woke up Nurse Nancy. <laughs> nice one, Nurse Nancy. Let's let her come out here and we'll dispatch her. Okay, we woke up two more. Let's let them come to us. Feral Arlene. All right, there you go. 
I'm I am aware that I'm not at full health, but I'm kind of waiting for my um, healing factor to naturally bring me back up there. Because we only have four medikits with us. Okay, so let's jump up here. I don't see anybody else down through here, but that doesn't mean they're not there. So let's just be on our guard. Isn't this fun? Doing a raid in Ravenhurst at nighttime. Just loads of fun. Probably someone right around that corner, I'm guessing. Maybe we better pop a couple of these. That'll give us some health, too. Actually. It's like a like a first aid kit. All right, so there's nobody in here, but there's somebody back in there. I'm I'm thinking, got a couple of medical things. Let's loot those really quick. Nothing there. Okay, we woke somebody up. Um, let's pop these. I'm going to actually start selling the steroids. They don't do us any good because they don't unlock they don't unlock the last row. So there's no point in taking them anymore. So we should probably just start selling them unless they're used as an ingredient for something else. Let's see. Yeah, see it doesn't say recipe. It does give us a, a bit of a run speed, so there is that. Is this a cop or is it just a fat guy? can't tell. Oh, he's... I don't know what he is. He's a, a custom Zombo. He, I don't think he's that tough, though, or he would have had that door down. Fatso would have had that door broken by now. So let's just let him come through. Oh, this is that abomination guy. Yeah. He's a pretty ugly dude, but he's not, he's not like super tough. He's still just normal Zombo tough. Will you hurry up? We don't have all night. Yeah, he ugly. All right, we woke someone else up to someone else's. They're going to come this way too. Breaking out the window. Come on, dummies. Are you coming this way? Here we go. Okay, let's see what that is. Nice. Don't want the... Don't want the uh, radiator. All right, let's see what's going on in here. This door is locked. It's meds. It's the nurse's chamber. Okay, let's check it. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. We are back to full health, though, so I suppose we could wait and check this later. But you know what? Let's just do it now since we're here. Blood bags are good because that means more first aid kits. Beaker. Guess we need a beaker for something. I don't know. We got to take a look at our, our uh, remaining Ravenhurst quest, too, at some point. Might as well check these two. Uh, 
Okay. Let's get rid of a couple things. We don't need that. Um, I think I have a pretty decent amount of grain alcohol, but we do need those as well for the, the large first aid kit. So I think I'll hang on to that for now. Okay, let's go this way. Those zombos busted out of this classroom here. I don't think there's any more in here, so let's go around this way. Okay, all three of these dudes are going to be in here. Okay, we woke her up. What? What are you doing, lady? You're all going to be at the door? Okay. Excuse me. Gazoon tight. All right. Nothing significant in here to loot, so let's just continue on here. So we have now cleared the nurse's building. I guess what we could do is just go to the gym. We have an auditorium and a gymnasium. And I think that's it. Just those two buildings are left, right? Yeah. Because we've cleared this building, this building, and this building. I think we've cleared that building. Yeah, pretty sure we have. Okay. Yeah, so let's hit the, the gymnasium next. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of reconnoitering here. We woke up one Zom down there? Two. Alright, football players being stupid. We woke some Zeeks up in the gymnasium too. They're not running very fast for a football player. Oh, we still have our luckies on. We got to put the fortitude glasses back. Okay. So, bunch of zombs in here. How strong is this? 2,500. So, it's basically like concrete. All right. Let's go. They're probably going to be going for these doors, which they are. Are there any more at this door? Are they at a different door now? I'm not sure what they're doing. Here they come. All right, cool. Uh, so we have one Zom over that way. Let's deal with them and then we'll see what's in this bag. Fat guy. He's so stupid. Not getting a good headshot off on him. Though. <laughs> Come here, you dummy. I'm right behind you. 
There. You see me now? Okay, you just keep hitting that, even though you've already seen me, and I've put an entire clip of 762s in your ass. You just stay there and keep hitting the wall, and I'm going to wait here patiently behind you until you decide to turn around and try and eat my brains. What a dumbass. <laughs> Can we take his legs out? Turn around. Oh, there you go. No, what? No. Nope. <laughs> He'd prefer to attack the locker than come after me. Oh, my goodness. Dude. <laughs> That's so disgusting. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's put our luckies back on for a second. Whoops. Nope. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. There we go. Give us something good. Um, okay. You know, I've got a bunch of AKs already. So I think I'm going to actually scrap that and get the blueprints. Um, do I really want to do that? You know, what the hell? Let's just learn it. You never know. Maybe maybe I want to make a super awesome, cool AK someday. All right. Any chance there's like something hidden behind these bleachers or underneath them rather? Look at that, you guys. Wow. Okay, we still have our luckies on, right? I knew it. Well, I didn't know it. I suspected it. Wow. That's nice. Oh. Okay. That's some good loot. Both of those are really good loot skis. We'll take it. We will take it. What's in the hidden stash? Um, oh, that was the food. Okay, that's something we will sell. Any more hidden stashes behind the bleachers? Or underneath them? I'm going to say probably not. Okay. That was some good loot, guys. That was some really good loot. Okay, so we got the chimney. This is pretty cool looking in here. Whoever made this POI did a pretty good job. Ravenhurst freeze. And it's daytime. I wouldn't expect there to be more hidden loot in here, but let's just check. That way we'll know next time. Okay, I think we're good. All right, we got locker rooms in here. This one looks like it's already been cleared. This one, however, may not have been cleared. Door is locked. Now let's get um, let's get our explosives back on our toolbar here. And I want to drop a couple things. Let's drop the wood, the iron, the scrap nails. I think we'll keep everything else. Okay, clear in here too. I don't need the loot locker so much anymore because, you know, we got max backpack space. Okay, I think there's only one building left, and that's this one, this auditorium. And uh, then we should uh, be done. And we don't have to worry about runners anymore unless they happen to be feral janitors like this one. Shooting him right in the nuts, man. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. We woke up some more Zeeks. Any runners? Is this the concession stand? That door's locked. What's going on in here? I hear a lot more Zeeks. How come I only see you? Are they down below? Yes, they are. All right. You're locked. All right, we'll fix that. Yeah. 
So I see three Zombaroos down here. Got a, a Jiggly, an Egger, and a Skater Punk. Alright, that takes care of them. What is down here? Living quarters of some kind? Hmm. All right. Let's just see what's in these crates. It's probably just toilets and shit like that. Yeah, trash compactors. Not too worried about that, really. Those are garage stores. Those can sometimes have good things. We still have our luckies on, so let's check the meth lab. The cabinet here. And we'll look at the garage boxes. Would be very nice to find a crowbar. Because we still have... I mean, there's a bunch of custom vehicles we could make. And also the gyro, too. The gyro would be useful for going down to get... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, down in the snow biome? Oh, here, let's loot this. Um, then I'm going to break it and see what's behind it in the corner. Now we'll take some salt. Just another cupboard. This is all just basic stuff. Oh, that's a working stick. Let's check it. The last one we did. Look at that. All right, man. That was worth it. That was worth it. So I guess not all of these are necessarily going to be crap. Uh, I do want to harvest those couches too uh, for twine, but we can come back here later. Let's finish the clear. Okay, um, let's get rid of that. Let's drink this. And get rid of the jar, get rid of the iron. And I think we want to keep everything else. Okay, let's get this auditorium cleared and get this quest done. That's a feral military guy. That was good timing. Oh shit. Feral biker. All right, any runners? Ooh, look at the leather in here. Hmm. Return to Trader. Awesome. We got her done, guys. We got her done. Okay. I don't know if there is there a fat loot room in this place. Maybe the stuff under the bleachers was the fat loot. What do you suppose is under the auditorium, though? Makes you wonder, does it? Here, let's um let's pop this coffee for a little stamina boost. And we're gonna just kinda cut through here and see if there's anything underneath these bleachers. Alright, well, nothing through that way. Go up here for a second. There's a satchel up there. Trying to see if there's a way to get up on the roof. We got the attention of a screamer. Okay. Anything under the stage? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's deal with this screamer. All right, well, this seems to be like the secret place, but I didn't see like a an end to stash down here. 
We missing something somewhere? Hmm. All right, well. If there is an in stash in this school, I have no idea where it's at. We, we checked in. This is just kind of like the kitchen of the cafeteria. We looked in that earlier. Let's just look in it again. Oh, uh, you know what? Looks like there might be another room in there. There is. Okay. So how do we get in there? Right here. Chamois box. Uh, I'll take that and that. Actually, I'll take both of those. Hmm. Well, maybe the stuff under the under the uh, the bleachers in the auditorium was the the fat loots. I mean, it was good loot, no doubt about it. We we got some good stuff, so I can't complain. Uh, but if there is an actual end loot in this POI, and you guys know, you know, I mean, with the iron chest and the usual, uh, let me know where it is in the comments if you would, just so I know for next time. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the trainer and do our turn in. And uh, I might come back here later, uh, you know, because we, we, I passed up a lot of just basic loot stuff. Uh, and, and if I do come back here, I'll just loot it off camera and record anything that's significant. But I don't know. Let's just go see what the reward is, though. All right, wreck, you old bastard. Give us something good. Think you're pretty smart. There we go. That's exactly what we needed was a brand new steel sledgehammer, and it's a green one, too. Very nice. That is what we're taking. Um, it's, these are good, too. I actually found some red military gloves. Um, they're, yeah, none, that's actually the most valuable thing but the, in terms of money, but this is what we actually want. So, okay, cool. We get 3750 XP, 1101 Dukes, and the steel sledgehammer beautiful all right what's your next job homie a clear and another fetch and clear this one is a really close listen up jackass you we've already done the hostel what is the other one i'm trying to i want to do new stuff as much as possible uh, okay what's this one that's the one we just did okay we might go check uh south south city trader gin in fact, we have a job from South City Trader Jane. We gotta do this one here. Lakeside Lodge. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll do that one in the next episode then. But uh, this is exactly, guys, what I was hoping for. And it's green, so we have three mod slots. And we can put all the mods that are currently on here, on here. But see, this one does 127 power attack damage. Um, so it basically does 42 more power attack damage than this one because those numbers in the prints up there don't count the uh, the mods. Nice. Okay, so let's put this here. Uh, we'll modify this one. And we are back in the steel sledgehammer business, and it's a beautiful thing. All right, look at this baby. Nice. Nice. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And in the next episode, um, we will hopefully I'll have an update on how we're doing with the irrigation project. Uh, but the plan, the tentative plan will be to do this next tier four um, at the uh, at the lodge. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.